Hi all, today's topic is absolute and conditional convergent. Absolute convergent if the series of arbitrary terms u1, u2, etc., un be such that the series when I take a modulus, okay, modulus of u1, u2, etc., un is convergent, is, then the series is called absolutely convergent. When I take a modulus, I, if I get the answer to be convergent means, then we say that it is absolutely convergent. Conditionally convergent means, if sum of uh, modulus of un is divergent, when I get the answer divergent, but sum of un, okay, without a modulus, if I get a convergent, then we say it is a conditionally convergent, okay. So, the answer can be only two cases, absolute convergent or conditional convergent. So, one example, first question, 1 minus 1 by 2 root 2. So, first Sum of u n, sum of u n is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 2 root 2 plus by 3 root 3, etc. It goes on. So, when I take u n on less means all are positive, no negative at all. Okay, now. What we have to do? First, we have to prove absolute convergent. For that, only u n, this term we have to prove. For uh, first, now we have to check is whether it's a convergent or absolute convergent. Okay, conditionally convergent means sum of u n. So, when I write the general case for this positive, when I write it, it's nothing but sum of uh, 1 by n root n. This when I rewrite it is sum of 1 divided by n power 3 by 2 I can write. So when you have like this you studied. So it's nothing but this we have studied in the P series. Formula for a P series in the series topic. So you check my video in the series topic you check. Okay P series I have given one set of formulas. So that only is here. So, it's nothing but sum of 1 by n power p. Okay. So, when p greater than 1 means it is a convergent. When p greater than 1 means it's a convergent. So, this only we have studied in the p series form. Okay. Same format only I have it. Now, we will check according to our question. We will be getting p is nothing but 3 by 2. So, 3 by 2 is actually greater than 1. So, the greater than 1 means sum of uh, determinant is convergent. If it is a convergent means it is nothing but sum of u n is absolute convergent. Second case it cannot prove the reason conditional convergent. Reason is nothing but sum of u n is convergent means only if sum of a determinant of u n is divergent only it is a conditionally convergent. Okay. So, it is not a Sum of u n is not a absolutely convergent, conditionally convergent. It's not a conditionally convergent. Thank you.